Hey guys, um, this week I'm making a uh, hold down clamp for my mill. Uh, saw a video recently by uh, Chucky2000, uh, 2009, sorry. Um, the link to his channel and the video are actually in the description. Um, he recently made a hold down, uh, a welding hold down, using a C clamp. And I've had this lying around for quite a while. You can see it's split here. So, we're going to uh, do the same thing. With one exception, um, I'm going to use this on my mill. I won't use this for welding. Alright, so first we got to break off this end. It should be just a matter of grabbing a piece of scrap. Oh, I don't know if I have anything short enough that will fit in there readily. There we go, that should be okay. crank down to see if I can just pop that end off. Let's try it this way instead. There it goes. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was made very well. Might have been a bubble or something when they cast it. So, now we head over to the mill. First thing in the milling process, uh, I gotta make sure this is relatively flat here. There we go. All I'm doing is resting it on this lip. And that should be sturdy enough. We gotta clean up this top. There's a little bit of, bit, bit of a piece at the top, and then clean up this face. I don't know if you can see it here, but we're still a little bit of above where we need to be. But this shield is real close here. So I gotta... Normally I wouldn't do this, but I gotta lower the spindle in order to mill this. It's never a good practice to mill with the spindle out. Got a nice face there. Uh, there was a little crack right in this corner that I was trying to get rid of. That's why I took an extra, maybe a pass or two. Um, I really don't know how much it took off. That was probably close to about 150 thou though. And uh, I've got this top nice and squared off. All right, next step. The plan for this is you, you see I've got T-slots here, um, and if I could find a T-block, here's one of the ones I made. They fit in there, they slide in, and then you clamp them down, and they lock stuff down. The plan for this guy is actually to have it fit like this, but it's going to sit right down in there, and luckily this back spine here is thin enough that I don't have to machine anything off of that. And uh, what I'm going to do, I, I've already marked it to the high point. Um, I've measured it, although I can't really get my Werner in there very, very, it's very awkward. So it's going to be a lot of test fitting to get this in here. 
you know what, I've, I felt that open up. You can see it's about 350, 360. So, I've got a 5 sixteenths end mill, which is uh, 312 ish. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, mill it, then I'm going to go over 30 thou, make another pass, and uh, then we'll see. I'm going to I'm going to have to test fit it again to see if it'll fit, and I might actually have to mill a little bit off this back here because, as you can see, it's not going to fit like that. But we'll see as we get there. So here's how I'm going to measure this. I know my diameter of my cutter is about 312, so I'm just touching the edge of the piece. Um, I know the height from the, let's bring it down here, the height from the bottom of this table to the underside of this T-slot is about 340 thou. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. We will set our dial at zero. Each turn is 100 thou. So we got one, two, three hundred plus uh, what? Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So that is our cutter. Our cutter is now in line with the edge. And then we got one, two, three, and I can't remember the number, 340. 20, 40. Now, I want this to be semi loose fit. So I'm going to give it an extra 10. And I'll make my first cut and then I can go up and down from there. So I'm basically in the center of the slot that I want to create. Um, did a little math, found out I need to go about 115 thou deep to allow for clearance. So we will do that. That's 115. Wow, I got a lot of crud on these. Who knew when you mill steel, it becomes magnetic? So we got ooh, three, go with 390. So we're going to lock the spindle. We're going to start up our machine again. That should be close enough to check it. really sharp. Get you down here. Probably need to clean up this first here. Cover your ears. Alright, I like the top. The bottom needs to be, it's hard to say, probably another 30 thou. Okay. 
I will take off 40. test oh, okay that fits beautifully I went a little high on the top side but that's okay the top side is just clearance and the bottom fits under there nicely cool Maybe not. Uh, I'm going to take off another, maybe 10 tau. There we go. Now it fits really nicely in there. My thumb's in the way. You can see. Sort of. Let's see if I can block this bright light out right here. It fits in there. So, all we gotta do is take the measurements off of the completed side, copy them onto the other side. So what do we got? 315 and 410. Write those down. bad practice to write on your mill but I really don't care all right now I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the other side that's the edge of our piece so I want to go over what did I say? 312 is the... Yeah. One, two, three, ten, twelve. And that's that. And I want to go 315 from there to three... 15 and that's our first cut and for our second cut we take 410 that I measured. Uh, 410 minus 312. All right, we're gonna go over another hundred thou, which is simply one rotation of this guy. Let's 
see, it slides in there really nicely. There's a tiny bit of play, which I like. Let's see if I can't get this into clamp down solidly. Solid ain't going nowhere. So I don't know if I want to leave it like that or if I want to relieve the the back there. Hmm. I suppose if I had anything to clamp I could just put it down and slide it all the way through. That's a pain in the ass. You know what? I am going to relieve that. Let's see. Take a mark. You gotta see what I'm doing here, right? Take a mark there. Take a mark there. That's what I gotta cut out. And that will match up. Oh. I can almost swing it around like that. Might not be quite enough, but we're going to see. Nope, not quite. Although I can sit it down like that. You know what, I don't want to remove too much material, so maybe I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So, quick project, 101 uses, just a uh, couple notches here for clearance on the table, another notch here just as a relief so I can put it in and out, and I can put it in, and I gotta raise the spindle here because it's gonna obstruct it. In. It clamps and holds. Beautiful. Like always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions on what I would, uh, what I could build next, please leave it in the comment section there. And uh, you guys have yourselves a good day.